<laughs> oh y'all i need to twist my hair tomorrow i have a doctor's like appointment in the morning if i don't twist my hair tonight it's gonna be looking crazy and i need to moisturize my hair anyway um i didn't show you guys a close-up a really this is what my nails look like i don't like this i feel like this color makes my hand look like man hands i'm over my hair i have a couple of reviews i'm supposed to be doing this week um i want to deep condition my hair a lot more because it's starting to get warm and i can feel my hair dry let me know if if any of the if this happens to any of you guys i know that my hair has grown now and i have to excuse the light i'm not one of those people one of those youtubers i'm like oh yeah girl i'm doing this with my hair my hair is doing this my hair is not thriving to the optimal to its to its optimal performance it's not because i haven't been taking care of it like i should be i'm keeping it 100 with you guys i have not been detangling like i should be if I tell you that I'm detangling in an hour, I'm not detangling properly. One, um, detangling for me takes two to three hours. So me detangling in an hour, you know, my videos. Oh yeah, I could do this in 45 minutes. That's because I'm not doing it properly. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, but I can. Det let me back up. I can detangle within an hour, absolutely. But it would not be thoroughly detangled, if that makes sense. A proper detangle for me takes minimum two to three hours there's no getting around it um which is why i started doing it the night before my hair is supposed to be a lot longer than this and the reason why i know someone actually kind of clapped me she didn't really clap me she just assumed by now that i would be damn near waist length <laughs> she's like and then on the other hand i've met people who have been natural as long as i have and their hair isn't as long as mine and keep in keep in mind I shaved my head. I shaved. I had no, it wasn't a TWA. I had no hair at all. So I remember going to brunch a couple of um, weeks ago, actually a couple of months ago, it was last year, and this girl, she was like, how long have you been natural? And I said, six years. And she kind of choked on her drink. She's like, I've been natural as long as you, and my hair is not nearly as long as yours. But I still think that my hair should be longer than this. If you have noticed in the past two years, my now it's starting to grow since last year my hair has grown but for about two and a half to three years it was at a certain stage now i will say this i can tell that my hair was thriving somewhat but again not to where it should be because my hair was getting bigger that makes sense i don't even know it was getting denser it wasn't getting longer but it was growing this way if that makes sense does that happen with any of you guys i guess technically that is growing but lengthwise i wasn't really seeing that much um i'm supposed to be way way past bra length i've been at freaking bra length now for two years actually longer than that i've been at bra length for three freaking years i'm supposed to be past bra length at this point so um what, what is my whole point I have a brunch. Let me check my. I have. I was invited to a natural hair group, a black black girls rock, on the twenty seventh, which is next week. So I need to get back on my protective styling game. If y'all noticed my last three vlogs, my hair has been out. I don't. I don't. I don't need to be doing that. Can they go away? Where's your Where's your Where's your back? Yeah. Your lunch kit right here. What's that noise? I don't know. Alright you guys, you have to excuse me. Look, look, I got some more makeup in. So I was practicing my brows with the Ardell Pomade Brow Kit. It's like a dupe for Anastasia. I'm not paying no $28, $30, whatever it is for Anastasia. So let me show you guys what I'm doing right now. I'm making some... I'm making my protein treatment. I am revisiting. This video got close to 25,000 hits. I'm revisiting this African's best hair mayonnaise. I'm taking everybody's consideration. I think I said in the video I left it on for 10 minutes. I probably left it on for 15 minutes. People were saying I did. The number one comment I got was that you didn't leave it in. You didn't leave it on too long. And you're supposed to deep condition afterwards. Now, um typically i mix my hair mayonnaise but when i first used that product i wanted to exclusively use that to give a proper review but this time around i'm going to mix it with like literally like 
almost a well, I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna pour some of this oil out half a cup of olive oil and coconut oil mix it all together not even half a cup like one full cup and I'm gonna leave it on my hair for an hour can you go to Walgreens I'm recording a dang old video so this is the hair mayonnaise and I'm going to mix it with this. This is too much oil so I'm going to pour some of that out. I'm also making some, I'm whipping down some shea butter. Sorry. I'm whipping down some shea butter. Now this shea butter looks, the color looks a little off in my opinion. Um, but it should be okay. It looks, it looks a little yellow gray looking. I hope it's not bad. Y'all. Um. <laughs> Can, can, can I look? No, baby. I don't want you near the fire. I'm going to be making JB some cream because he does have eczema. He's doing really good lately for the past few months, though. <laughs> Ciao. So with his, I add coconut look. oil, exclusively coconut oil, and tea tree oil. That's I'm his more, body more butter. We're that. Yeah, we are, baby. And then I'm making myself some hair cream. The only styling product I really use, you guys, and all honesty, it's Can2, TGIN, and then my homemade DIY I'm butter cream. I'm getting some butter. Ah! My home DIY butter cream, unless I someone sends me something. Look at those big eyes. Sit down, sweetheart. So what did you do today at school? I, I go outside. I go outside with, like, more. And, 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 and I do something. And, and, and I just... And, and I just read that book. You read a book? Yeah, I read I read that princess book. I didn't know you knew how to read, boo-boo. Supposed to have wash day tomorrow, but my boss talking about she wants to meet with me and she still hasn't sent me a meeting invite. Oh, y'all, just too much stuff going on. My phone, email isn't syncing with my work, and I really do depend on my phone to read my work email, and the damn thing ain't syncing. I call IT. We They transfer our IT department over to India. I'm really good with accents. I could not. I got transferred to three people, and I finally had to hang up because I couldn't understand anyone. I couldn't understand anyone, y'all. I was so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Oh, so I'm finally emailing them and they're getting back to me through email so I can get my email up through my phone. Oh, y'all. That's why I'm getting a burger right now. I'm supposed to be making chili. I'll probably just make that chili tomorrow. And plus, I don't like to cook when someone's in my kitchen. He's, he's in the kitchen area right now and dust and wood is flying around. I'm not trying to have wood chili. So after this, I'm going to go pick up Boo-Boo. Poor Boo-Boo. He's been at school since 7 o'clock. It's 4.30. My poor baby. He's probably hungry. I'm getting him something to eat too, y'all. Okay, you guys. So I'm getting ready to use the African Pride hair mayonnaise. This is my second time. Actually, my fourth or fifth time. This time, I'm going to use it as a pre-poo. I put in here olive oil and coconut oil. And I'm going to leave it on for 45 minutes, okay? I'll be right back and let you guys know how I think about it. All right, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like after about 45 minutes. I didn't want to feel myself applying the product because, like I said, I've already done this review before, but just showing you that my curls are definitely popping. No issues this time around because I did it completely different. Now, I'm going to be using a VO5 Blackberry Sage Tea Tree um, uh, Conditioner and the Suave's Avocado Conditioner. Okay, you guys, so I'm freshly out the shower, and this is what my hair looks like. I don't know what's going on over here, but it's not the product. It's my hair. I don't know what's going on. But yes, yes, yes. Oh, Lord, Niagara Falls. Um, <laughs> much better this time around, especially using a moisturizing deep conditioner or moisturizing conditioner directly after. Uh-oh. Oh, did y'all see a nipple? I need to stop doing this. Yeah, this product is highly recommended, but I do recommend, like some other commenters said, co commenters said on my first review is to follow up with either a deep conditioner or a moisturizing conditioner. I will be listing below all the um, products that I use for this video. I'm gonna jump back, get back in the shower and do a wash and go, which is gonna be hell, because it's seven o'clock at night, but whatever. Um, what I was gonna say, I think it's funny how on that first video, there was clearly something wrong with that batch that I got because it was highly fragrant. It stunk. 
And I think it's funny how every now and then I'll get someone writing, that product smells good. I don't know what you're talking about. Even if the product wasn't, even if there wasn't something wrong with the product, because I have used this, like I said, this is probably, probably my fifth time using this deep conditioner. Do you have us ever think that smell is subjective? That's why people wear different colognes and perfumes. Hell, that's why people eat certain foods, because smell is subjective. It's based on individual taste. Girl! <laughs> But anyway, back on subject, I do recommend this product. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all my subscribers. Bye.